YouTube family. Apparently, Gucci Man is never going to let the Pookie Low beef go away. And not just that, Young GZ protege used to be his protege. Pokey Loke's son is beefing on these streets and not stopping. Gucci Man just did another diss towards Pokey Loke again. This time featuring Little Dirk, Little Dirk featuring Gucci, whatever you want to call it. In the new song, in a mix together, they go ham. We will play that. We will look over this video. But in the meantime, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and come rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I'm your DJ Bless One. Let's go. We know about WAP. WAP doesn't play with nobody, nor does he let people play with his name out here in the streets. We know Gucci Man been out here for a minute, making his name ring, making bell rings at that. And we know the diss between him and Pookie Loke has long been running. A feud with him really and Jeezy started it. So Pookie Loke's son saying what he's saying is only speaking in the honor of a son getting for his father we know that it makes perfect sense it ain't no beef situation it's just a deceased situation and the deceased is pookie loke pookie loke the, the 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 strength and the security force for young jeezy well he been led astray now there's a beef going on and this one was said in the disc but keep rapping about the shooting still ain't got revenge but keep Making up excuses. Wow. Cause then drawn so much link that his gut got big as goo. Right. Told him quit while he ahead and don't go my murder. Didn't have evidence to prove no. it. I think my house is honey. Yeah, by who the ghost of Pookie. Oh. He ain't killed nobody, but keep rapping. He said the ghost of Pookie. Now, a few things Gucci Man had to say about young Jeezy's deceased friend, and, and y'all heard what he already said on that part right there which is i don't know if youtube is going to cut it off or not because of copyright but if it is kept on y'all heard it but if y'all didn't hear it i will be the one to say it to y'all now gucci man had a few things on the song with dirk to say the rumors featuring little dirk while the two men may have squashed their beef talking about young jeezy and gucci during the famous verses while they may have squashed their beef Gucci ain't forgetting it. He kept the beef back. He, like, he's like, I don't care if 2021 is gone. I'm going to keep this thing going. You hear me? Now, Gucci has something to say on Pookie Loke again. And he got it off his chest and talked about the ghost of Pookie Loke. You know what I mean? And it's like Gucci will never let it go. Damn. Broke the internet. Put in the dirt. Smoking on Pookie Low tonight. I tell you what. I tell you what. This is how we gonna do this. Send some more. I'ma send them the same way. In a box back to you. Boy, Three kill. Song. Jesus Christ. Three kill. I tell you what though. See when I even call you and extended this invite, I did it as a real man. It's been 20 years. 15 still years. Okay, well how many? You still talking the same? You feel me? Still talking the same? Hey man, you so gotta take. Damn. Uh, Damn. Broke the internet. I tell you what. Put in the dirt. I tell you what. Smoking on Pookie Low tonight. I tell you what. I tell you what. This how we gonna do this. Send some more. I'ma send them the same way. In a box back to you. Are you doing free kill? Free kill. I tell you what though. Now, you guys got to understand what Gucci Man feels. If your life was on the line and people tried to take your life, you will be, you know, like, at, like basically you'll be on a pause. Like, I ain't about to just get this man prop. This man tried to stain me out of my own family as well. So Gucci Man is looking at it from his side. And I'm trying to look at both sides. Now, Pookie Loke's son, he's been going back and forth. We're going to go look at some of them interviews of the back and forth. But the back and forth has been going on. It ain't stopping no time soon. And you can see Gucci is relentless as well. Now, Pookie Loke's son had this to say about the situation. Pookie Loke 
Well, not Pookie Low, but the whole situation. This is the, the report. They're saying Pookie Low, an affiliate of the snowman, was shot and killed by Gucci Man following a failed attempt at an armed robbery in 2015 at the time. Don't listen to them. That was not in 2015. That was years ago i guess these people in revolt tv get their information wrong but anyways at the time many believe he was sent by jeezy to commit the crime so gucci who was acquitted of murder charges related to the fatal shooting retaliated by dropping the truth record which preference the i mean reference the death of pookie loke i mean this thing go deeper than that than what they trying to say i want y'all to look at some of the interviews that both gave on including gucci man with charlemagne the guy i, didn't think this. I was young but i yeah i didn't think this fucked up they did wrong to the group. and everybody in the neighborhood know that so i ain't no going around that even even with the murder even though it was self-defense do you ever think about that and you think like maybe i could handle that different especially when you did like the diss record he did he, he needed to be in the ground put his ass where he supposed to be he tried. Is it that different, especially when you did like the diss record? He did, he, he needed to be in the ground. Put his ass where he supposed to be. Think about that and you think like, maybe I could handle that different, especially when you did like the diss record. He did, he, he needed to be in the ground. Put his ass where he supposed to be. He tried. That's the old Gucci still there. Nah, that's the truth, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. if somebody comes to you try to kill you, yeah. you know, self-defense, self-defense. Mm -hmm. So somebody's a trick, he try to kill you, which, you know, you gotta do what you gotta, you gotta do. do, you gotta do. You regret anything you did in the street? Yeah, I'm ashamed of a lot of things. I'm gonna say, yeah, I did some things that, I'm, that I, I wish I didn't do. Yeah. But I was young, I was young. But I, yeah, I did some things that's fucked up, dead, dead wrong, to who. And everybody in the neighborhood know that, so I ain't no going around that. Even, even with the murder, even though it was self-defense, do you ever? Think about that and you think like maybe I could handle that different, especially when you did like the diss record. He did, he, he needed to be in the ground. Put his ass where he supposed to be. He tried. That's the old Gucci stuff. Yeah. No. Now you can see Gucci still feels his way. He doesn't care, but Pookie Loke's son gave an interview with Fucius TV. And let's hear what Pookie Loke, little Pookie Loke had to say about the whole thing. Ain't going on, but now with him saying that in front of millions of people, it crunk it all the way back up. It crunk it all the way back up. So it's like shooting and shit going on. Yeah. A lot of shit going on out here, man. Um, now I seen that you doing that big 30. You know what I'm saying? And y'all had words, y'all saying some words. Um, he said some crazy shit on the stories, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he had a show in Macon the next day and ended up not coming. Um, how, how did, like, why did you go at Big 30? Or did Big 30 come at you first? No, he didn't come at me first. He went at my dad. And so when you said something about my dad, that's why you fucking my son so I can you know, I mean, it's something disrespect, but I ain't the reason you canceled the show. I'm saying he come out here and get a little money. I'm about to interview Lil Pookie Loke. Um, what questions should I ask him? And one of the one of the pers one of the people that was under the comment said it wasn't a question, but he was, he just said that yo, you know Pookie Loke, Lil Pookie Loke know that G that Gucci did it. You know what I'm saying? Is he gonna do he plan to get any revenge over that? Nah. I mean, yeah, if I could, I would, but at the same time. What can I do? Yeah. You got kids to live for too. All right. Yeah. And it, I, I seen that the nigga, they said that he did a show in making. You know what I'm saying? People be saying, you know. That man is not trying to get touched. That man still scared for his life 15 years later. Yeah. And when he came to making, I was trying to get in the club where he was. Them folk knew who I was because the club he came to, no folks know who I am. I used to go to that being faithful and no folks said, no, you can't come in here. And this is on all three of my kids and my dead dad. This is on all three of my kids. That one let me in the club, man had a helicopter hovering above the club. That man is scared. They had a helicopter? With SWAT. What? With the SWAT on top of the building, the man had snipers and everything. I seen it with my own eye. I don't need nobody about me. I seen it. I seen it. 
Now, Gucci Man does move like squad. He moves thoroughly as he should. He got a lot of ops out here. When you are the big dog and you talking that big boy talk, big dog talk, dudes is coming at you relentlessly. And now this is Gucci Man right after the murder charge beating in 2006, him telling his story about it. Portrait, school. No, school it was cool to build a tattoo show, do everything, extracurricular activity. So I just held off till I was like 18. And I got a, I got a scholarship with the school. And I got caught with some drugs when I got out. When I was in job locked up, I had to do nine days. And I, when I get out, I won't go and take the route that series and start rapping. Crewed up with, with a couple people and just been doing this since then. Doing my thing. I always been a boss with it. To be honest with you, I like zone out. I like to get, I mean, I like all the artists, I, I like a crowd. Because if I get an artist around me, I don't really need them to give me no output, but just to like, you know what I'm saying? I have, I have a reputation for like being a great hit maker. So, just anybody around me, I gotta prove myself. I had to cut it on, just like that. So, if I got people around me, they're really interested in what I'm gonna say. I entertain them, cause my music really, I make to entertain people. So, if I have artists right there with me while I'm crazy, I'm gonna entertain them, they're gonna entertain everyone else. That's my secret right now. To be honest with you, like, a lot of my songs that got on the radio that made it big, uh, that got to these people ears, was just uh, the power stuff. So, in a lesson, in a sign somebody give you. I ain't tell you that, Charlie. It gonna help you if you wanna get some money at the end of the day. You wanna be a knuckhead? Don't do it. You want some money? You know, best bet to try to do what he's supposed to tell you to do. You know what I like to tell him. You don't wanna keep dwelling on, 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 on stuff that you did, you know what I'm saying, last year. I don't think I'm looking forward to just the forward, just looking forward, man, because uh, I'm out of jail, you know what I'm saying? So who wanna talk about that or what they, abuse they have? I ain't got no people. Only people I have now is uh, filet on dog. That's all the beef I already got right now. I'm gonna tell you to you, like, straight up, like, you can research this on Gucci or whatever, but, like, I ain't never shit this on nobody. And I had a lot of people to come to me with that in my whole life since I was a little boy. You know what I'm saying? Even when I forget a lot of them, to ain't saying, I have never shit this on nobody. I have never wrote a statement on one, and I never will. That's how I feel. Cause I'm a true G. I never shit this on a nigga. Where we from, we won't do that. This Gucci letting you know he's breaking it down. I mean, this thing is just brazy. I'm going to leave you guys with the thing that started Little Pukalo, the speak again. I'm just who I am, nigga, but I ain't boy. You left this in a box back to you. Free kill. Free kill. I tell you what, though. See, what I even call you is this inbox. What, though? It's back to you. Tell you what, this is how we gonna do this. Send some more, send them the same way. In a box, back to you. Free kill. Time. Free oh, kill. I'll tell you what, though. See, when I even call you and instead of this invite, my nigga, I did it as a real man. It's been 20 motherfucking years. 15 still talking, years. Okay, well, I've been still talking the same shit. You feel me? Still talking the same shit. Hey, man, you so, gotta hold on, take let that me talk. Let me talk, my nigga. Let me talk. Listen, listen. Man, rest in peace to Pookie Low. Blessings to Jeezy. Blessings to Gucci Man. And blessing to Lil Pookie Low. Man, I'm your DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live.